So this is the clipping drawing inside here. I want to create a clip terrain, right? Remember I said create a clip terrain. It's not like the original gets clipped. We're creating a brand new terrain that happens to be a clip terrain. So I'm going to go ahead and select clip terrain. Now here it's going to go ahead and ask me, do you want to locate the reference element? I can left click and select it. Then it's saying locate the clipping element. So I'm going to left click and select this one. Now it's asking what about another clipping element? So if I had a bunch of elements that I needed to clip, this would be for an internal clipping to where it's creating a bunch of holes in my terrain. Uh, but instead I just want this one. I'm going to reset and I'm going to make the horizontal zero for the offset. So if I need to do an extra 50 feet, I could. Uh, there's a vertical offset. And then finally we're using the external. The external will provide me triangles on this inside where internal would create like a donut. Uh, so I'm going to say external. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave this as triangles. I will change this name to DEM clip. And then I'm going to do a left click. And there it goes through and creates it. Okay. So there is my clip terrain. This is also dynamic. If I come over here, see how I select it once and it selects the terrain? I do another right click and now I'm looking at the shape. So I can actually change the shape and it will dynamically update for us. See that? 